Yeah, well done to everybody who got this one correct. This is a little sea animal called the hermit crab. They're um, easy to recognize because they always have a protective shell um, on, their, on their bodies that they carry around with them, a bit like a tortoise moving around with a protective shell. And it's, and it's basically a requirement because these crabs are different to, to most of the other crabs that people will, will commonly see in and around marine environments where the carapace is not hard through the whole body. You can see this little one now trying to use its claws to clamber out of the, out of the water. The waves keep knocking it back. But um, essentially, they have uh, their, their, their legs and their forequarters are, are, are quite well protected with hard carapace, but the, the abdomen is very, very soft. So they require a shell to actually protect them from enemies. Um, otherwise, they would suffer high mortality. As it is, they live for quite a number of years. You can see this one here now on the beach being knocked over. Um, we'll start to move out. Bal uh, change the balance of weight, get get up onto the feet, and then flip the the shell shell back over, just to protect them from from enemies from above, birds and and the like during the day. But essentially, what happens is they they spawn in the open ocean, and then the larvae go through a number of different molts. Um, finally, you know when they're at a size when they can actually find a shell, they they'll find a discarded mol mollusk shell, anything you know, sea sea mussels or um, snails or whatever it is, and then they'll take that shell, move in, see if it fits quite nicely, get the abdomen right into it. If it's a nice snug fit, that'll become their home that they'll move around with, giving them a protection while they're 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 foraging. They're pretty much scavengers. They'll you know forage on. They're omnivorous and they'll feed whatever they can get on in the water or on the beaches. And then as they get, as they age they'll and they need to get bigger and bigger, they'll actually change shells. They'll move from one shell to another. So this can often lead to a bit of competition between between these hermit crabs. And then, you know, up, once they're up on the beaches, the ones that, that stay on land will actually then uh, bury themselves in the soil by day and then and move around more at night. So very interesting little animals.